Hey guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another Top 5 on this Top 5 Tuesday. Now, I know it has actually been a very, very long time uh, since I made one of these videos, and there's a few reasons for that, but uh, don't worry about it, because I am back, and we will be having all of my normal videos this week from this Top 5 today to Thursday. We're going to have a very special Jessica Jones bio to celebrate the launch of that new Marvel Netflix show on Friday. So, I hope you were ex as excited about this Top 5 as I am. I actually was suggested by Nick. So a huge shout out to him and of course compiled by myself and the Hybrid Network staff. Uh, so when we dissect Spider-Man's villains, what I find extremely interesting about his rogues gallery, gallery is that most of his villains, in fact almost all of them on this list are in some way or another kind of a foil for Peter. I mean all of them are very intelligent, near geniuses that ultimately don't live up to their potential and turn to a life of crime and they serve kind of like as a warning to Peter to not fall off the wagon in any way. Um, and that's what makes his rogues gallery really one of the best in comics, period, not just in Marvel. Uh, I think it's right up there. It's like him and Batman, are like one and two. Uh, I think you could make an argument for either of them. So for that very brief introduction, let's get started. Coming in at our honorable mention slot is Mysterio, and yes, though his fashion sense may be lacking, Quentin Beck, a former special effects wizard, has long been one of Spider-Man's most persistent and elusive foes. Armed with his wealth of movie magic knowledge, chemistry, engineering, and even hypnosis, Mysterio has proven a remarkably resourceful threat given his limited background. However, perhaps his greatest feat was creating and controlling an android version of himself in another universe, better known as Ultimate Universe's Mysterio as seen in Spider-Man number 5 in 2012. And at number 5, one of Spider-Man's most vicious and ruthless opponents, Kraven the Hunter. Born Sergei Kravinov in Russia, Kraven was raised in a formerly aristocratic family and dedicated himself to becoming a great hunter and bringing down the toughest targets in the world. This, of course, led him to the Spider-Man, who would ultimately become his greatest failure and target. Believe it or not, Kraven doesn't just have his experience and wits against Spider-Man. Through Calypso's magic potions, he has been granted superhuman strength, speed, stamina, durability, and agility, allowing him an even better chance against the web-headed wall crawler. In at number four, it's the Vulture. Yes, good old Adrian Toomes. Old, of course, meaning both that he is elderly and has been a villain for quite some time, as he's been fighting Spider-Man since all the way back in the 60s. Toomes is one of Spidey's most iconic villains, both given his age, far and above average for supervillains, and his skill set. Toomes provides a little variety in his threat to Spidey, with an electromagnetic wing harness that allows him to attack from above, while also granting him super strength. At number three, it's Dr. Kurt Connors, aka The Lizard. Accidentally turned into a walking, talking lizard when a limb regrowth serum went very wrong, this accident gave him super strength, speed, stamina, agility, and durability, while also giving him a healing factor. However, the accident also left him a mindless and savage beast. More recently, however, Dr. Connors has become a much more tragic figure than before, as he accidentally killed his own son, and he's managed through further serums to retain his intelligence in his beastly form. Coming in at number two, it's Doc Ock. A brilliant atomic researcher, Otto Octavius overcame abusive parents and a rough childhood to become one of his field's top scientists as he constructed an octopus-like harness to assist him in his work. However, one day an accident left him fused to his mechanical arms, able to control him with his mind, but permanently mentally unstable and forever a criminal supervillain. However, more recently, Otto Octavius has had something of a heroic resurgence as Superior Spider-Man that was unorthodox methods ultimately led Peter Parker to take back his own body. And at number one, who else but the Green Goblin? Norman Osborn is not only Spider-Man's greatest villain, but he's also probably the most impactful villain in his rogues gallery in terms of the entire Marvel Universe. Osborn, a self-made millionaire, sought power above all else, leading him to be forever changed in an accident with a super strength serum, which doomed him to insanity. Using this newfound super strength, as well as his wealth and technology, Osborn quickly became a supervillain and criminal mastermind, running afoul of Spider-Man, of course. Norman has since caused Spider-Man nothing but trouble, from his murder of Gwen Stacy to his role as director of S.H.I.E.L.D. and his invasion of Asgard, as well as his eventual resurgence as the Goblin King. He just doesn't want to go away, and of course, Spider-Man probably hates that. So that wraps it up for our top five. Tell us your thoughts in the comments below. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you on Thursday.